welcome everyone on this tutorial we shall look at how to get these stump shaders procedurally in blender these two are my results i still have a picture of my note tree of both of these shaders at the end of the video so if you just want that just skip everything take a screenshot okay let's delete the default cube start with the cylinder let's scale it on z axis by 10 times to get a cylinder first you press shift a object cylinder to scale on z axis then you press s g 0.1 it decreases the height by 10 times apply a bevel modifier go to the right hand side on these small panels go to the modifier tabs add a bevel modifier give it a segment five segments now let's head on to the shader editor change one of the viewports onto the shader editor the easiest way to get the ring structure i think is through wave nodes so bring in the wave node add texture wave bring in a color ramp change on the wave texture on the wave texture change it to ring and axis to z so that it kind of form circular pattern going up in the z axis z axis press ctrl t by selecting the wave texture that'll give you mapping coordinates and texture coordinates only if your node wrangler add-on is enabled if you have not just go to the edit on the top left preferences search for node you'll see node wrangler select on that say preferences and then you'll be able to use the shortcuts on the shader editor give the on the mapping coordinates get the textures from the object so that the origin of the object is aligned to the origin of the texture since the texture in the woods are not so uniform we'll have to create some disturbances in the linings so for that we'll bring a noise texture add texture noise texture then i just press ctrl shift and left clicked on the noise texture to see how does it look then in order to control the noise texture let's bring in the mix rgb so what does this do i've connected the object from i've connected the object from the texture coordinate onto this mix rgb on the lower color too so whenever i go 100 percent it's only taking the colors from color two. Whenever I'm doing a zero percent, it's taking zero from the color two and hundred percent from the color one. So I put it, place the color one as the noise texture and color two as the object coordinate. As you can see this shifts the center a little bit but you can just pull here and there in the mapping coordinate and it does not have to be perfectly dead center because it's it does not come from the dead center I don't want much noise or disturbances so the mix factor mixing factor is quite high because that means that percent of the color is from the texture coordinate and only the remaining is from the noise texture i'm just changing the scale and distortions from the noise texture that thing is all personal preference okay next let's give it give the stump some color i could have used the first color ramp to give the color but what i can do now is i can change the white and blacks on the first one and Control the amount of textures and their respective settings. And now let's add in some colors into this second color ramp. Now I've changed the color of I've changed the white color to kind of light brown. So and you can see everything that was white had changed to light brown. Now I bring in a new 
color and I'm just putting in blue for now so that you can see and understand more as as I bring in the colors you can see depending upon what are on the sides it appears respectively on the object too for instance the brown that I just brought is between green and white right over here too, it's the same thing so you can have a very high level of manipulation of colors by doing so so it's better to use two color ramps and now I usually try to make uh, use a grading of colors start I mostly leave the left most as darkest or in this case black and then bring in a little bit of lighter color and then gradually increase it to the lightest not necessarily you don't need to necessarily do that depending upon what you want and what kind of texture you want this is already looking like tree texture but it is definitely missing some roughness some bumps as we know trees have are really rough and they have a lot of bumps going in them so for that let's bring in a bump node for that add vector bump and as the name suggests it will create some bumps it's not that difficult to understand because people who create the softwares and it's mostly cross-platform they try to give a name that would make sense so plug in the color to the height and plug in normal to normal and I increase the roughness to about 100% this is a little bit of too much bumpiness so I'll decrease a little bit okay a little bit of distortion to add some naturalness and now I'm just playing with the colors and the values in order to get the kind of desired output and also experimenting at the same time that's necessary too and I think I want some more noise so I bring in another noise texture and another mix RGB to control that noise texture give our object coordinate system to the noise texture and with a change the values as you like and I end up bringing another noise texture These are pretty much to control the noises at very different level as you can see on this the second one mostly worked on the darkest part and at the same time I'm also experimenting like what would happen if I did this just trying to fine-tune which is not all is possible you could just leave it right here you don't have to add so many textures one of the reason I did is because it's not taking a lot of memory and I can't really do a whole lot of thing in this laptop so whenever I get chance I just kind of play around bringing a bunch of stuff now what I'm doing is I'm bringing two wave textures 
Control T on the web textures, bring, give it from the object, bring in mix RGB and just control shift left click on the mix RGB to see what do they give. Since there are more irregularities on the tree stump or even on the bark, this, are, this will be a little bit of distorted circular textures going around the stump so that it give a little bit of more natural feel just playing with the distortion and the easiest way to distort it is being by bringing noise texture again mix rgb again to control the noise texture value and make sure you give the object coordinate to the noise Now let's mix in the two textures by multiplying them. Bring in a mix RGB, change it to multiply and the factor to one so that all the values are mixed with one another. I think that's a little bit too dark. So let's try to change and do not forget to save the file because blender is really really expert at crashing but i'll have to admit the later versions are far better again just trying to fine tune things out on this one too i could use two color ramps but i don't need so much of controls that is what i decided to And if you scale the object, the textures are not going to be affected. They... You can scale them too. And now I'm just trying to get a decent picture. I don't want, I don't usually like spending a whole lot, a whole lot of time on that but I at least want to get a picture of what I did. So these are the two textures you saw and then these are the node system I used. And thank you for watching.